cost her. She goes to St. John's Catholic School. Her teacher is Ms. Barbara Cunningham, and the school principal is Ms. Melanie Lassen. Okay. Oh, you are. <laughs> All right, y'all come forward. If I were mayor, the first thing I would do would be to focus on ending violence in our communities. I want the citizens of Valdosta to feel safe and protected. I will make a proclamation for a week to focus on ending violence, and I will call it, It's Okay to Tell Me. A lot of young people believe that you shouldn't snitch. However, I believe we have a responsibility to keep order in our city. Recently, we lost a family friend, Mr. Edmonton, to a senseless shooting. I want someone to come forward with information to help find the murder. If I were mayor, I would hold a town hall meeting to educate people, especially kids, about the need to be a good citizen. I will speak about any violence, child abuse, and bullying. Many girls admire the singer Rihanna for her music, but I admire her most for not being afraid to tell when Chris Brown murdered. She didn't care what people thought or how it would affect her career. She did the right thing, and I would encourage others to speak out if they are in abusive relationships. Um, if I were mayor, I would set up a hotline where people could call if they or someone they knew needed help. As mayor, I would speak. I would ask the schools to teach students about ending child abuse and bullying. Schools have become safe haven for kids that are being harmed. I would help the schools teach that it's never okay to hit or pick on people that are smaller or weaker than you. If I were mayor, I would make sure someone had to go for help. I would make sure police department protected them. I would ask Governor Fields to provide funding to help victims get counseling through community-based centers. This would provide new jobs through the, in the community for counselors, teachers, law enforcement officers, caseworkers, and call center workers. In conclusion, if I were mayor, I will keep the loss on its path that gained it the name of Winnersville, USA.